Okay, we'll simplify this right here. We have x to the negative 4, y to the negative 6, over x to the negative 1, y squared. This is a diffusion situation, and we have to remember, when we divide this expression, we will be subtracting the exponents, okay? So, first, let's work with the x. So you know the base will stay the same. And for the new exponent, this is how we are going to figure out. We will take the top exponent and then minus the bottom exponent. And let's write it down. Let me write it down as negative 4, and then we'll minus the bottom exponent, which is negative 1, like this. Okay? And as you can see, negative, negative becomes plus. So really, we have negative 4 plus 1. And now, what's negative 4 plus 1? This is the same as negative 3, right? So this is how we deal with the diffusion situation. Even though the powers are negative, but you still subtract the exponents, okay? And let's do another one because we want to do the same for y. For y, we write it down, y. And then for the new power, let's take negative 6 for the top power. And we have to minus the bottom power, which is just a 2, like this, okay? Earlier, it's kind of like adding because it was a minus minus situation. So that's why it's the adding. But in this case, we are legitimately subtracting, okay? This is negative 6 minus 2, which is what? Negative 8, isn't it? Now, both of them have negative exponents. Be sure you bring them down to the denominator. So we will have x to the third power with positive exponents like this. And then we will also bring y, and we will have positive 8 exponent like that. And now the question is, what's on the top? Well, it's a 1. For when you bring both things to the denominator, we have a 1 on the top. So that's it. That's the answer.